Hey YouTube, how's it going? Well, this year video is the first of this round of Let's Lose Weight. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm going to call it or anything, or if I'm even going to bother with a playlist for it. But, anyway, here we go. The daily report consists of the following. The calories and carbohydrates consumed the day before, which is yesterday, and that is, if I look here, 1,858 calories, 76.4 carbohydrates. The other information in this daily report is the weight as of this morning, 307 pounds, and the blood glucose reading as of this morning, 204. Uh, yesterday it was 165. Yeah. And I ate a whole lot better today than I did the day before yesterday. You know, uh, really. Well, you know what I mean. Anyway. Uh, once I have the morning weigh-in, I put that into a BMR form formula, the basal metabolic rate. Now that, simply put, is a number determines that shows basically a rough approximation. I mean, it's not hard carved in stone science, but it's a rough approximation, a good ballpark thing to go by, in my opinion, the, of uh, the calories required to maintain your current weight. It uses your age, your weight, and your height. And so I plug 307 pounds into that formula, and I get a BMR of 2,467. So I subtract 500 from that. If I limit my calorie intake to 500 less than what it takes to maintain, then what that adds up to is a theoretical one pound per week loss, which is considered normal, safe, weight loss rate. One pound a week. It's a, it's slow, but it's steady, and it is the kind of thing that your body can get used to, and, you know, you're not, you're less likely to go bouncing back way up, as long as you stick with the plan. That's the important thing. And so, what I've got is on the spreadsheet where I've got all the formulas worked out for this is I, I take the BMR, subtract, five, subtract 500 from that and that goes into a, cat, into a heading called don't pass. It's just simply a little thing to remind myself not to take in more calories than that. Now right here is a screenshot of the main daily part of the spreadsheet. And basically what I'm call what I'm tracking is calories, carbs, protein, and fiber through the day. The protein and fiber don't need to go into the daily report because it's just something I'm watching for myself. Uh, for everything I take in, be it coffee or some dish I make or whatever. I've got a list of things and their ingredients, their uh the information off their nutritional panels on the packaging, uh, basically the calories per serving and the carbs per serving, the protein and fiber per serving, and this goes into the sheet and it all adds up at the bottom through the day. And I just watch that. And what I'm going for right now is to keep the carbs below 100 grams of carbs per day and the calories below the don't pass number. It's that simple. I keep my calories less than the don't pass number. I keep my carbs below 100, and I don't even have to think about the carb, the calories. You know, I'm tracking it to prove the point, and also because of the don't pass number, it helps. You know, it, it works. It's very simple, very easy, and it. The hard part is sticking with the plan. The hard part is to decide, it is not deciding, the hard part is not deciding 
F this, I'm going to McNasty's. The hard part is not deciding, F this, I'm going to call a pizza. You know? <laughs> the hard part is deciding, no, I'm not going to have a 42-gallon uh, bucket of macaroni and cheese. Which, trust me, I'm not going to. I, I burned myself out on that stuff a long time ago. But the point is, the hard part is sticking with the plan. And that's why I'm glad that I actually like the food, because that's an important part of it. But I've already rambled on long enough for this. More tomorrow, because this is going to be a daily thing over and above any other videos I make. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here. Mr. Chip for Chip.